Hello and welcome to Truthloader's Fact Hunt, diving headlong into a world of discovery and adventure. And today's Fact Hunt is a bit of a quickie, because it's all about speed. That's speed as in going fast, not as in amphetamines. So let's skip through the boring bits and get on with the show. The fastest man alive is Usain Bolt, and he can run at about 1.8 million and 27 miles an hour, which is about 20 miles an hour faster than me. See, our planet rotates at around 1,040 miles an hour on its axis and orbits the Sun at around 66,000 miles an hour. Our Sun travels around our galaxy once every 225 million years at a speed of around 483,000 miles an hour. And the Milky Way, well, that's zipping across the universe at approximately 1.3 giving us a total speed, give or take, even when you're lying in bed, of some 1.8 million miles an hour. And to think your parents call you lazy. In a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, a team of scientists analysed the maximum potential of the human body, how much force our muscles can exert and absorb, the maximum stretch of the legs and that kind of stuff, and found that we have the potential to hit 40 miles an hour. And according to Reza Nalbury, a professor of mathematics at Bloomsburg University, the maximum possible speed to run the 100 meter sprint at is 9.44 seconds, which means Usain's got to pull another 0.14 seconds out of the bag. Come on, get training. Having said that, humans are s Everyone knows cheetahs are the fastest land animal, hitting speeds of around 70 miles an hour. But the fastest fish, the sailfish, which is a bit like a swordfish but with a sail, can also reach almost 70 miles an hour, but in water. And the fastest insect, the Australian dragonfly, can reach 35 miles an hour. In fact, most of us, if we sprint, can run about as fast as a honeybee can fly. And doesn't that make you feel all big and strong? But that's nothing, because the common flea can accelerate 50 times more quickly than the space shuttle. Whilst a human astronaut might pull 3G, fleas can hit 140G on liftoff. And certain varieties of the spittlebug, well, they can experience 400G, accelerating at four kilometers per second squared. That's quite enough nature, though. The first two land speed record holding cars were electrically powered. How's that for futuristic? In 1898, the Jean Tour Duc set the record at a stonking 57.6 miles an hour, which is actually pretty impressive when you think about it. Then in 1899, Leon Serpollet set a new record of 75 miles an hour in this, La Jamais Contente, which looks oh, so, so very dangerous. Then in 1906, the first man to hit 120 miles an hour was Fred Marriott in his Stanley Rocket, which was powered by steam and quite quickly turned from an upturned boat on pram wheels into a garden wheelbarrow in an accident in 1907. Anyway, do one internal combustion. But let's not forget trains. Some nutter rode a rocket sled like this to 632 miles an hour on rails, which is the fastest manned train journey so far, whilst unmanned variants, which look like kids' drawings, have hit 6,400 miles an hour. For trains most of us can ride, though, the Yamanashi Maglev in Japan can hit 361 miles an hour using a magnetic cushion to reduce friction. And Southwest Kiatong University in China have just unveiled a vacuum tube Maglev, which can hit 1,800 miles an hour and could propel commuters from Paris to Moscow in just an hour. Unfortunately, because it currently only exists as a fairground ride in the university's sports hall, it can hit a top speed of a whopping 26. Supposedly the fastest thing that can exist are particles called tachyons, whose minimum speed is the speed of light. They were proposed in 1967 by Gerald Feinberg, and they have never been found, although we have searched for them. Many physicists don't actually believe that they can exist because nothing on the physical level can be faster than light. More on that in a minute. Others believe they may exist due to a quirk of quantum mechanics. The speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. But why? And why is it generally considered the fastest thing there is? Well, here's where people get confused, so we'll try and explain it. 
right now. The speed of light isn't actually a speed at all. It's sort of one of those lies that they teach you in school, like the one about atoms being a bit like the solar system. They're not. Anyway, mind blow, there is no speed and there is no time at all, just generally speaking. In physics, they're both the same thing, space-time, and they always add up to the same total, which is c, the universal constant, which is what we know as the speed of light. So if you're sitting completely still in space, time is moving at the speed of light. As soon as you start moving, though, that changes. Since we're traveling through the universe at 1.8 million miles an hour, that means there's less of the speed of light left to be taken up by time. So time slows down as we speed up to keep the speed of the universe equal and constant. The faster you go, the slower time goes. In fact, it's such an issue that GPS satellites, which orbit the Earth at some 20,000 miles an hour, have internal clocks that run at marginally different speeds to compensate for the effect of time dilation, which is the speed of the universe, which is the speed of light. Why is the speed of light what it is, though? Well, uh, no one actually knows. OK, one more speed of light one. One thing can absolutely, definitely go faster than light. Nothing. Nothing can go faster than light, which is sort of how the universe manages to expand at speeds greater than light, because it's expanding, as far as we know, into absolutely empty space. Oh, go on then, just one more animal to put our mediocre human speeds to shame. Blue whales can hit 31 miles an hour. That's four miles an hour faster than Usain Bolt and five times faster than Michael Phelps' six miles an hour maximum swim speed. Just saying. <laughs>